into it let's get into it it is the comic talk welcome back 2023 edition of course we already did one for the year this is our second one part two this one is going to be a very very special one i got so much to talk about so let's get into the books welcome back the King Midas Collects, aka the Vaughn and Only. We're live over on twitch.tv slash there can be only Vaughn as we do every Wednesday. So hopefully you guys on the YouTube side of things can, you know, once in a while come over there, check it out, see what we do on that side of things. So first up, we're going to start with this Dune House Arcadin, I believe it is. I can't remember what it is. I was in my box. I didn't want to... I wasn't looking to get it, but he put it in my box and he still had it at cover price, even though it's like a seven, eight dollar book. So I was like, all right, yeah, I'll buy it because you put it in there. It's a number one. It's fine. And it's foil. Some reprints here. We got Star Wars Revelations second print. It's got a green logo to differentiate there. Yoda second print number one. You know how I do with them second prints. And uh, ASM 14 with Hollow's Eve on the cover there. Terry Dotson edition. So first up this week, we had a book called White Savior. I think everyone just thinks this is kind of funny, but uh, we'll see if this is good. This is a new number one um, written and drawn by Eric Wynn. So we'll see what's up with that one. We had a House of Slaughter number 11. Things from Another World, our order there has the FOC reveal of the Jenny Frizen book. So craziness, no Jenny Frizen book on the comic talk, but uh, it's coming. <laughs> I think this is the first time in a while we haven't had Jenny Frizen on the comic talk. Final Gamble number one from Band of Bards. I guess that's a new publishing company. I couldn't find it anywhere on the internet, so I'm like, how, did, how does this book exist? <laughs> Batman One Bad Day Bane number one. Joshua Williamson on that book. I heard it was really good. Book of the Week right here, Nightwing issue number 100. This is a big book. Shout out to Tom Taylor and team for putting this out. Um, very, very huge milestone for Nightwing, you know, Robin Uno, to have two volumes of his book reach um, issue 100. You know, it's very surprising that they even let this go to 100 issues, but here we are. We also picked up the 1 in 25, the Babs Tar. There is a George Perez 1 in, was it 1 in 150? That's like a color uh, variant. It was going for $180 on my comic shop, and I almost snagged it. But let, let's see if it sits there um, for a couple more weeks. Probably won't. I saw that uh, FMVs online were already at $350, so it might not last very long. But it's there if somebody wants it. Flash, $791. Still enjoying the Flash. We're back. We're back. Maniac in New York. Don't call it a comeback. Number one. Wakanda issue number four. I hear there's a first appearance in this book. And uh, that's it for the new stuff. So these were 50% off. And I'm going to show you some of these were all like $5 or even uh, $10. So that puts it at $5 and $2.50. And we got some steals here. I had the zombies variant on my wish list for Spider Woman number two by Ben Oliver. So good to see that there. Ultimate Spider-Man 160 this is the final issue for the Ultimate series with uh, the Beth of Peter, Ultimate Peter Parker. Um, I didn't realize that that was the same cover as the Polybagged edition. This one just obviously doesn't have the Polybag. Here we go again with the second prints. You know I love me my second printing variant. So Punisher Dark Reign the list number one. Some good uh, Steve Dillon artwork there. Shout out Steve Dillon. All right? Yeah. <laughs> I know it's Steve Dillon. Why am I? Daniel Wayne, Steve Dillon, they, they, you know, that was the tandem. Deja Thor's number one for $2.50. You know, I think it was wrong for cover price to have that book listed at $80 FMV. It looks like the market's corrected itself, but it's still $10. So if they get it for $2.50, that's not bad. Next up, the final three issues of Liberty Metals by Frank Cho. Just love Frank Cho. So Liberty Metals is just one of those uh, books that he um, really got known for. So again, I love my second printing or, you know, my reprints. I love uh, final runs of issue or of series. So these are the last three snagged them together. This one, check this out, guys. Batman 21. This is the one in 25 jock variant. What's interesting about this is that it was five dollars on the sticker. So two dollars and 50 cents out the door. This is like an $80 comic book. 
one in 25 this is the very first this is the first appearance of the key duke thomas the signal appears in this book next up on my wish list I'm missing one more issue of cable and deadpool issue 48 here with uh, brother voodoo if you guys are familiar with this, this is scotty young who wasn't doing any of his uh, cutesy stuff yet First cover appearance of uh, Ultimate Mark Spector, Moon Knight. His first appearance was in issue 79, but they're not... No Ultimate Spider-Man books except for, like, issue 32, and the first issue are worth anything these days. Next up, we have uh, just a Spider-Man uh, variant here for Captain Marvel number 7. I just like that suit from the big time. Uh, 2011 time frame, I believe. Another... Spider-Man uh, variant here for Deadpool number 14 with the Iron Spider, Mark Brooks. What's going on, Storm? How are you? Two Deadpools, late Deadpools there for volume one, 67, uh, or 66 and 67. Uh, both at, listed at 10, out the door for five. This is about, this is roughly about a $10 issue, and this is like a $20 issue. So, um, you know, it's still... Still a good deal for the five bucks. This was good for uh, ten, two copy or two issues here. Edge of Spider Verse number three, and then number four. Now, of course, you want issue two and issue five, right? But apparently, issue three is rising up in value too. So to get both of these for ten bucks, or rather five dollars out the door, it was sick. This one, April O'Neil, TMNT presents April O'Neil number one. Uh, this is like a mini series. I thought it was something else, but it's a newsstand, so we picked it up. Five bucks. These are cool. So, unfortunately, I had to buy the entire series, but it was two dollars per issue. There's nine issues for Superman Unchained, right? So, two dollars a piece, eighteen bucks. These variants on cover price are go for like ten dollars a piece, but on comic book realm. Number one here is a one in 50, I believe, or one in 75. And then number two here is a one in 100. So these were respectively going for like $50 and then uh, $70 here. John Paul Leon, uh, John Paul Leon, excuse me, passed away last year. Um, so, you know, anytime I have a chance to pick up any of his artwork, I try to do so. And this one's just a, a glorious Dave Johnson variant, just like a 1930s throwback variant here. But for uh, two dollars, that was a steal. It was absolutely a steal for two bucks. So good to show those off. Now, now we're gonna get into um, what we got from my comic shop last week, wherever those books ended up, somewhere, somewhere. All right, here we go. So, um, this is a second printing, but it's a 1 in 25 second print for uh, Swamp Thing Green Hell. This book came out in the summer, and then issues 2 and 3, for whatever reason, they just didn't publish them. So they, like, pushed this book out for whatever reason. They decided to release a second print last week. I think this book is going to be a ghost. So for a 1 in 25 on a second print, print and it's a foil of a magazine book yeah i think that's going to be some money down the line next up we got two issues uh variant covers for wonder woman 795 i believe this one is well, i don't know who this is on the uh on the cover but this is the one in 25 and then we also picked up the one in 50 which is just a foil version of the cover a yannick uh paquette yannick paquette so I just like these DC foils. I think these 1 in 50s. It's the first one they did a Wonder Woman, I believe. So I'm trying to keep an eye on that. Next up, we have uh, uh, Taryn, Taryn Clark on Flash 790 variant cover. I think this is just phenomenal. Phenomenal paint there. We have Human Target issue number 10, the Jeff Spokes variant. Love me some Jeff Spokes. Nothing special here with X Men issue number 18. But it's a uh, emotional damage. Uh, I should have turned that off. Who did that? Um, Elena Casagrande. Well, YouTube. That's what happens when you're live on Twitch. So we'll keep that in the recording. 
Um, next up, we have Black Cloak issue number one. This is a Tula Lote uh, reveal virgin, which is great. Good to have that there. Uh, Alpha Betas issue number four. I forgot this was coming out, but of course, this is the Metal Gear swap cover homage to the NES game, the NES box art. We have a Peach Momoko Daredevil issue number seven. Always try to pick up her art whenever I can. Moon Knight 19, Lucio Parillo, the one in 25. And Maria Wolf, Wolverine 29. This just looks sick, man. This is like when you go balls out with your comic book art. Love it. All right, so our order from Big, Big Time Collectibles finally came in. Wolverine looks veiny. I don't see any veins on there. Just, oh, I guess there, there are a few. Um, so we're just going to show you guys one of them that I opened. They did a phenomenal job of packing this up. And on top of that, um, they gave us a free poster. It was Scarlet Witch number one, the A cover, as a big old poster. So that is awesome. These boxes are really cool, so I'm going to keep these for shipping in the future. I'm going to show you just in one of the boxes. Now, this order was all of the spawn uh, image variants that they did in December. Um, of course, we bought them in the store too, but I ordered them to have two copies. So these were like put in back in October to make sure that I got a copy of each. And then there's a couple of other variants um, in here too, including Captain Carter number one, David Nakayama. It's like a $30 book we got for the low low. It was like 10 bucks. Next up, oh man, this looks like it's blown out. Wow, this looks terrible in person. This is supposed to be a Jay Ferguson Dracolina. Um, it looks good on camera, but in person, it just looks like the... It's like somebody <laughs> printed a... Uh, uh, a picture and made it uh, and, and, and tried to maximize it and then threw it on top of the book on the cover of the book it's weird alright so see, here's some of the spawn variants here, three keys, issue three gospel number two uh, dark ride three 10,000 Black Feathers, Bone Orchard, number four. So I think we, we did order that one. Then we have Ice Cream Man, 33, 34. Doesn't say on the cover. It's like issue 33 or 34, I believe. Junkyard Joe, number three. So we do have two copies of that. I remember specifically. Chroma, issue number two, the spawn variant. And then we got Rogue Sun, issue nine. All pretty cool spawn variants there, so that's kind of cool. All right, here is the coup de gras. We met up with somebody who talked about having a collection. Uh, he came into the comic book store while I was there. He brought a box to show to the uh, Rob who was working at the time kind of showed off a few books and we all kind of came to the consensus that he what he what he brought weren't the big books but they were right around the same ones that you would want like uh he brought issue four and issue five of thrawn he brought a uh, darth vader four and six so it was like oh we need that darth vader three uh, oh we need that thrawn one and six you know, stuff like that. So like he had that era from like 20, 2009 to about 2017 and then older, he said. He said he had stuff older. Now, the reason why Rob, usually he doesn't tell customers because you know, the shop wants to get their, their cut, right? Um, he said he had a bunch of toys too. So he's like, hey Vaughn, you, you do the toy thing, right? So I was like, yeah, it depends on the toy. So we got to talking. I was able to get his number too. And then I kind of just slid in there and they, hey, look, listen, I don't want to step on what the, the shop is doing, but 
if you want to give it to somebody who's really going to take care of these books or, or give you more of a premium, I might be the guy to talk to because I can tell you everything that you need to know about these books. He saw that I was a Giants fan. I was wearing Giants gear. He appreciated that. So we met up. He brought a huge box. I think I counted 600 comic books in the first box that I got. And this is a good story because we met up a second time and I got another 100 comics from him. So a total of about 720 or so comics, right? And um, he said that he's got the box that I got fit 600 books, right? He's got crates and he said the crates that he has, there's 10 of them. And that box, that first box that you got, fits double the amount in that crate. So just imagine the amount of comic books he's got. We are in. We are in. I'm so glad that uh, we, we have this connection now. A lot of these books, unfortunately, they are dirty. They are crumpled. They weren't taken care of. They're not bagged and board, boarded. But there's diamonds in the rough because... You, you know, the books on top, on bottom might have some dinks, some damage, but the books that are sandwiched in between are the ones that you want to find. Now, a lot of these books still need a lot of love. They need some cleaning. They need a press. We can get certain books to about that 8.5 to 9.2 range, which is which is still golden. That's what you want. You want near mint minus at least to, uh, to, to give to somebody. Can it be better than that? Who's to say? Maybe certain three, four, five books can maybe have a 9.6 or a 9.8. Uh, I don't know. But, guys, some of the heat. Batman 635, first appearance of the Red Hood. Are you kidding me? Just sandwiched in there. Just sandwiched in there. Segoy, what a score. I couldn't believe it. Check this out. Star Wars Jedi one shot Mace Windu first comic book appearance of Asajj Ventress uh, it's like a close to a $300 book unbelievable that Red Hood book in the 90 in the 8590 range which is what I, I I'm putting it at after a nice little press still about $120 we had a bunch of spawns I think uh, it was only like six or seven issues of Spawn, but they were all in the 130s. So here's 136, which means he's got more. We got to get that gunslinger, right? Earth 2, which needs a press badly. The first appearance of Val Zod. Black Superman, Earth 2, issue 19, $50. Captain America Annual, number 8. Newsstand, that classic Mike Zek cover. $50 to $80 book. So, some more Star Wars stuff. Boba Fett, Enemy of the Empire, number one. We got more. He had more and more and more of these Batmans. There's issue six is the one that you want. We also had an issue six, but it's slightly damaged. I'd say that it's like a, it's a fine. Maybe after a press, very fine minus, but four, five, and six. So you're still talking about about 40 bucks altogether. Two copies of Astonishing X-Men number three, first appearance of Abigail Brand. Thrawn number one. We just mentioned this man. If he's got Thrawn one and six, here's the number one. And of course, look, we got a spawn number one. Throw that in there. It's nice to see. $30, $35 all day. We have some Vampirella magazines. These are really cool to find in there. Captain America issue six needs a press you can see you can see that line there on the spine first appearance of the winter soldier and i mean it just keeps getting better look we have again all this stuff needs a press ultimate fantastic four first appearance the variant of the marvel zombies First cameo, first appearance in issue 22. Issue 30, first cover appearance. I think this is the other 21. And then the cover A for 21. 
phenomenal. Oh, these are uh, these are different. <laughs> Here's, here's some more of those spawns I was talking about. 107. We had some Masters of the Universe in here. So that's a good sign. Some Thundercats was in there. Knights of the Old Republic. Does he have issue 7 and 8? Issue 6, 7, and 8? Oh my goodness. He probably does. Darth Raven. Come on. What else we got here? What else? What else? What else? Oh, this weird uh, Silent Hill mini series that I didn't know about. Cool to get more video game tie-in stuff. First appearance of Damian Wayne. What? And second. And it keeps going, but I showed you guys that heat, that fire right off the rip. We're gonna continue uh, checking in with my man Tito and kind of be that liaison and kind of tell him what he needs to do with his collection. We're gonna go through it one by one, little by little. I think he wants to really see what he has, which is, I told him, absolutely fine. If anything, if you're looking for an X amount of money, I probably can't be that outlet to you, but those comic books will stay in the collection and not be sold because I they're on the wish list, I want them. Um, but we'll see if if um, I tell him what something's worth and he feels like he can go to the store and get more money for him. Kudos to him. He should do that. This was his brother's, his uh, his late brother's collection. And uh, they had just left it. It's been collecting dust for the last uh, six, seven years now, he said. So, you know, he felt it was time to move it. Happened to go to the comic book store. And I just happened to be there at the right time. So, well, uh, we're, we're going to be meeting up again this weekend after my flea market um, times. And then, you know, do, do the damn thing. And I can't wait. I cannot wait to see what else that we're going to find. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I can't wait to show you uh, what else that we pull from Tito's collection. We're looking for that Darth Vader 3, maybe a Teen Titans 12. He might have an Ultimate Fallout 4. I mean, it's it's right in the range. It's right there. And if he has the amount of comics he says he has, we're, we're, we're cooking. He was like, I'll give you $200. Or uh, uh, I'll take uh, $200 for the Ultimate Fallout 4. Mind you, I told him it was like a $700 book. Minimum. <laughs> because it, it's probably not in good condition. I don't know. Um, definitely not near mint. So he can't get any more than that. But that's still like... You should get at least 600 for it. And he was like, I give it to you for two. So I was like, that's a steal in itself. Anyway, I've kept you guys here long enough. Thank you so much for tuning in to the comment talk. Do all those great social media things. Like, comment, subscribe. Join the Discord for all things in the culture that pops. We talk about it 24-7. Until next week, as always, you'll find Vaughn, YouTube, King Midas on the comic talk. Bag of boredom, guys.